Hi, I'm Andy Parr, and you're watching The Gadget Guru. Stay tuned, because in a moment, you're gonna see a very cool device that I'm seeing for the first time today. It's this right here. It's called the tow towel, and it's a new way of towing front-wheel drive vehicles behind your motorhome. So stay tuned, because that starts right now on The Gadget Guru. Okay, let me introduce you to this guy right over here. This is Pat Stella, and Pat's product is this right here. It's the tow tower. Now, I'm seeing it for the first time today, so we're gonna learn about this thing together. Pat, first of all, what is a tow tower? Uh, the tow tower is a new lift for lifting vehicles without a uh, dolly and can be towed uh, two wheels up on any uh, front wheel drive car. Now, now, the way I understand it, if you have a front-wheel drive car, now, and granted, every car has a list, can you be flat-towed, can you be towed to up or whatever, but uh, if you have a front-wheel drive car, if you want to tow it, basically, you have to get a tow dolly, you have to, or a trailer, you got to go through, you got to put netting and cords and whatever, and then when you get to your, your resort or your campground, then you got to find a place to pull it. How does your product differ from that? It's different because uh, once you lift the um, car off the, off the ground, uh, other than the safety chains, there's nothing else. You just pull the car wherever you want to go. In a minute, we're going to go through a full demo of this. Now, my understanding is your device, or, or the tow towel, it connects directly into the, the motorhome's trailer hitch. Tell me about the weight. Again, this is not a topic I know a lot about. Educate us. Well, this, this lift will lift 6,000 pounds. There is a maximum on every hitch, and that has to be known. Uh, the car itself uh, weighs, this, my Cadillac weighs 4,000 pounds, and, uh, but when you tilt the car up, when, you, when it's on an angle, or any vehicle, a truck, um, the weight drops because the center of the gravity goes backwards. So when the car is lifted, uh, my Cadillac, uh, it's 1,600 pounds of weight on the hitch. Okay, now, my understanding is, okay, when you, you, you have a, a device or brace or, a, or, or some, something, and we'll, we'll look at that in a minute, something that has to be attached to your particular vehicle. Yes. Then you connect a bar to it. You connect the bar to the device and you lift it up. Now, right. looking at a tow dock, and I want to thank my friend Bobby G for, for helping me with some questions here, because again, he's smarter about this than I am, that, that basically, instead of the, if you had a tow dolly, that absorbing the weight of the car, right. that the weight of the car is now on your hitch, and this is physically going to lift it up. Yes. Uh, I guess my first question is, the device that goes down here, does it stick down? Do, do you have some clearance issues? Uh, no. Um, it depends on how high the car is off the ground. A lower car than an SUV would be, and we're testing that for different uh, beams to put under. It's basically shaped like a T, mm -hmm. and it, the, the, uh, the, the T part is at the top of it is back in the car. And um, it, this bar is two and a half inches thick. It's a square bar, two and a half inches. When I look down there, I could see it sticking down. Yeah. It's about two, two and a half inches down right. that it's sticking down. Yeah. And um, if if you have a, a lower car, we're gonna we're gonna we're trying to develop. We're having it tested. All this has been tested, and we're gonna test it for a wider but thinner bar that would go up higher on on lower cars. Okay. Now, when you attach something like this, because you're, it sounds like it's going to. Your mount is going to the frame of the vehicle. Right. How does that affect, in your experience so far, the manufacturer's warranty? Well, it doesn't. I've already checked. The, this this uh, connection it has uh, shear bolts on it. So it doesn't affect the car at all if, if for some reason, God forbid, you had a head-on collision driving the car with that on, that, that whole thing will fall off before mm -hmm the car even starts to crumple. So the, the bolts will completely shear off and the unit fall off, and then uh, that leaves the car to do its job with the crumple. 
Okay, but just the addition of the weight on here when using it on towing, because I, I guess your mount stays on there full time yeah, once you put it on. But it's not that, that doesn't affect the manufacturer's no. automo automotive warranty? No, that doesn't Cadillac. I've taken it there for service a number of times. Okay. Yeah, now, I know right. for specific vehicles and what works with what, you have an extensive website. We're going to put a link up at the end of this video. Let's go on and now, let, let's do a demo. Let's see how sure. this thing works. I'm going to step Glad out of the to. way. You have a microphone on. Please talk us through the different steps of what you're doing. Okay. I believe we're going to start by putting your, uh, yeah. what do you call this bolt? A tow bar. Okay. <laughs> we're going to put the tow bar on. I'm out of the way. This is the hardest part of the whole process. And it may need to get time to help. We put the pin in. There's one pin underneath there with a, a clip right here. All right, so the next step is just to drive up and put it on the hitch. All right, we're gonna drive straight ahead and uh, clip on to uh, So now we're finally hooked up. We put the, uh, I don't know if you can see this, but we put the pin in, in here. So we're hooked up. Now the key's down and we're gonna lift the car up. The car may be too far. There it is. Now the car's up, it does it looks a little low, but the bus is in uh, not in driving position, so once the bus is put in driving, it'll air it up and it'll be about maybe 12 inches off the ground. Okay. Now, it seems to me that the obvious advantage of this is that you don't have to carry a trailer with you. Right. You know, um, you know looking, you know, we just did this in real time. I'll say, wait, you just did this in real time. I tow a Jeep Wrangler for all four down. It takes, the Jeep's probably maybe a minute or two quicker than this. I realize, you know, this is a new product. It's going to take some time, you know, to, to get used to it. What are the other inherent benefits other than not having to carry a uh, tow dolly? And that you can tow most front-wheel drive cars. Right. Uh, one of them is the fact that it s stays behind the bus perfectly. There's no swaying. It does. It. It's. It'll make tight turns, and you don't have to worry about the car be swinging out like on a dolly. Sometimes uh, you can back up with this. Uh, you can also tow it probably four wheels down, uh, but we, we haven't done that yet. We've done it in testing, but we haven't portrayed that at all. But it just, it's an easy way to tow. It's very safe. That, that pintle and ring won't ever come off. It's not, it's not going to break Now, you off. say testing. What sort of testing has the tow tower undergone to this point? Uh, we have a company in uh, Michigan that's worldwide that tests all the GM uh, GM, Ford, all the big manufacturers, they test for everything, stresses, and we've tested this for stresses, we've tested it for strength, we've tested it for everything, and all of this has passed. We made just a few modifications to it to, um, to, to take some stress out of it. It was very minor. Uh, we've had three different tests already, all of them run by supercomputers for days. Uh, we've got one more test to run on, on the T-bar and we'll be finished. When 
you bring a product like this to market, granted, any time you bring anything that's an automotive accessory, it's not easy. You know, my hat's mm -hmm. off to you for doing that. What sort of NHTSA approvals do you need to use this on motor vehicles? Uh, we've checked that. I mean, as far as towing a car, there's not a lot of regulations on towing a car. Uh, but my my concern is safety, and we've really put a lot into this for safety. Now, I know when it comes down to specific vehicles and which cars can and can't be towed and the weights of this and comparing it you know, to your motor home or motor coach or bus or whatever, did you have a pretty extensive website, uh, website or a pretty extensive database and website? Tell me how that works. When you go in to uh, uh, place an order or do a, a sheet that gives you an ideas about which car, which bus, and all that. Okay, if I say you have a Ford Travel IH45 here, you have a, right. let's call this a 2017 Cadillac right. SUV. You put this model number in that model. What information do you get? You're going to put in the information that's requested, and what you're going to get back is the compatibility between your car and your coach. So that'll basically tell me, on this coach, with this vehicle, here's the tow bar that you need or the mounting bracket right. that you need. Uh, will it tell you if any modifications are needed, any drilling, or if it'll fit in an existing If it's, not, existing if it's not compatible, if the car you pick is not compatible with your hitch, mm -hmm. it won't let you buy it. Okay. And so it'll stop you. And then you may have to upgrade your hitch because some, some manufacturers don't have a lot of uh, lifting weight and so you can you'd have to up, update your hitch but okay. that that's all it's not going to let you buy something that's not safe okay now we're, we're shooting this video in february 2018 as of now are you shipping this product yet yes okay mm -hmm. how many different vehicles you know, i don't need a list how many different models are your tow bars available for now there well they're, all this is custom made. The tow bar is custom made. Oh, so when so you order, you tell them you, and they yeah, build when, it for when you. When you fill out that compatibility form, then we know what has to be built for you. Okay, how long does it take once you place an order to receive? Four, right now, four to four, six weeks. Okay, of course, the big question, everybody's going to ask, how much? Uh, the, uh, the electrical one, you have to look on the website for the exact, but it's about $29.95. Right. Call it $3,000 for yeah. an electrical. Okay. This and is I the guess, hydraulic. Can that, run off the, that can run off the bus's electrical yes, system? Yes, the electric okay. can. The hydraulic adds how much to it? $500. Okay, uh, $3,000 or $3,500. But now for the parts for the car, how much are we talking? That's all included. Oh, that, that's everything. Everything in okay. is included. You, uh, the, the person that uh, buys this will have to take it to uh, somebody that can mount it for them, and some people can mount it themselves. There's, Okay, for, for someone like me, who would take this to a, a machine, a a dealer, machine shop? Uh, what, what would, how, what would be a reasonable cost that I would expect to pay to take your box and to have it installed on my it's, car? And it should take them a couple hours to put it on. Okay, it, it's mainly if they have to do any welding, but uh, so we're talking two hundred, five hundred dollars, yeah, depending on where you're going. It, is that reasonable? Right, the bolts come with it because they're sheer bolts, and you and you have to put Loctite on the bolts. That's it. Okay. For more information, what do people do? Uh, you call Tow Tower or go to towtower.com. Okay, and I'm going to put that down here. And towtower.com. Right, there's an 800 number, okay. and that 800 number goes to me and my sales team that's in Michigan. Okay, I want to thank you very much for your time and give us the opportunity for the demo. You know, uh, what we're doing, I'm heading down to the Prevo show right now with the Prevo Expo, and I asked you, why aren't you showing there? <laughs> He didn't know about it. I didn't it. even know about it. I have a feeling you're going to be there next year. I'll be year. there next year. I'm Thank sure a lot of here. It's cold and flu season. We All do right. that. We, we don't, don't shake do hands in no cold problem. and flu season. I'm kind of like the Howie Mandel of motor home people. <laughs> no problem. Uh, anyway, uh, it's an interesting product. I'm going to look forward to, to following your progress. Thank you. Go to his website if you have any questions. And remember, the easiest way to keep posted are my news, stories, videos, or whatever. Just like us on Facebook at facebook.com slash the gadget guru don't forget to subscribe right here on youtube and if you like this video you're probably going to like this one and if you like that one you're going to like this one too that's it for now i'm the gadget guru andy parr